What do we got here, Sean? So this is a 2020 uh, Sport that we took and dressed up a little bit. So backup camera, 360 degree uh, cameras with the um, uh, crash mitigation, all that kind of stuff. But we went ahead and threw a two inch lift kit yeah, on it with some 35s, uh, R20s, uh, all terrain, BF, uh, Goodridge all terrain KO2. We added the fender flares. We put a cat back exhaust, Mopar cat back exhaust and pull their intake. Uh, our friends down at uh, Insurance Direct with the uh, Mass Black Bird uh, wrap on it, which can be removed if you want. Oh, it sits up really nice, man. This thing has a really nice stance to it. But what we. got the cold air intake on her and the Mopar exhaust system so let's get ourselves a nice little cold start here kick ass fire up the drone fire up let's hear that thing see the boys down here at Thompson's and uh, Sean says take a look at this sport package so what do we got here Sean it's uh, a fairly loaded sport it's got the 12 inch navigation in it backup camera 360 degree uh, cameras with the crash mitigation all that kind of stuff but we went ahead and threw a two inch lift kit yeah, on it looks with some 35s um, our 20s uh, all terrain be uh, Goodridge all terrain KO2 we added the fender flares and we, uh, our friends down at uh, Insurance Direct put the uh, matte black hood uh, wrap on it, yeah, which killing. can be removed if you want. Oh, this sits up really nice, man. This thing has a really nice stance to it. But what we did just do to it that we wanted you to come and check out was we put a cat back exhaust, Mopar cat back exhaust, and a cold air intake. That's good. Good shot of that for you, boys. Do you want to look under the bed? I'll show you the bed. Yeah, you know we do. For sure we do. Slick. So uh, this right now, the deals they have on right now, you get 0% financing up to 96 months on these trucks. On this one, we're throwing in the cat-back exhaust, cat -back exhaust and cold air intake at no charge and uh, we're taking an extra three grand off the hood. Oh, that's super slick, man. Yeah, you guys are clearing out the lot pretty quick. We were just here looking at the Durango a few weeks ago, boys, and uh, this thing was loaded, so right on. Enjoy the drive. Right on, brother. Appreciate it. All right, seat in position. We got to figure this out. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Oh, this one's got 360 cam. Check it out. Oh, that's wicked. Service with a smile. Here's your uh, French vanilla with espresso shots. Yeah, right? I don't even want to know what's in there. <laughs> right on, brother. Let's get used to that. Thanks, Sean. Sean drinks a soda coffee. That's pretty sweet. French vanilla, actually. What a guy. Man, we are sitting up. I don't get to use mine in the old off-road mode um, because it, you generally you got to be under 30, I think it is, before it kicks you back down. So this is nice. We're going to come right off that curb and it don't even matter. Big old. Oh, no. BF Goodrich, big fan of the BF Goodrich. Used to have a set of the mud trains on my Jeep back in the day. My God, I mean, they howled a bit, but they were great and uh, they lasted a long time. They wore better than any tire I think I've ever had in my life, really. She's a smooth operator. So, what's different about this baby? There are a few things different. The tack looks a little bit different. Things look a little more simply refined on this unit. Oh, what do we got? Change the controls on the 
Okay, cruise and this. Okay, so this truck has the uh, like it, Sean was saying. He did say that actually. I wasn't paying close enough attention, but it's got all the sensors and the safety package. So this truck will cruise. I do believe that's what these buttons are for at a safe distance and uh, stay in front or stay behind. Oh, well, how that totally works. We might have to get out and try that out. I think we will actually. We'll have to go out, I'll find a spot to dry off the bumper, see if I can get a good seal with that camera, but with the rainy weather that we're having, it kind of increases the odds of that camera coming off, so that makes me a little bit nervous, but I definitely want to get some exhaust notes for you, because it's unbelievable the sound of this truck compared to mine. Wow, we are up there, boys. She ain't quite nosebleed, but she's, uh, she's pretty sweet. The big old din, boys. You gotta love it. Go through all your apps there. Let's go to the old, let's heat her up a bit. Eh? We'll jump on the 401 and I would like to try this cruise control settings because it's, it's, you know, it's what my truck doesn't have. Yeah, I'm certainly not used to the feel of the tires. I'm sure she's gonna drink a little bit more gas. What's this little icon? Check this out. See that little green icon there? As I scooch my way over to the yellow line, watch what happens. She goes yellow, you're getting close to the center line. Isn't that something? Does that mean it will correct you? It is, oh my God. Did you see that, boys? That's crazy. Watch this, we're going to the yellow line. Oh, truck just straightened us out. Oh, we're going into the ditch. Truck just straightened us out. That's insane. That's amazing. Ha, huh. I've never drove anything like it. The thing won't let it cross over. If I throw the signal on, obviously it's gonna override that and we can pass, but that is crazy, man. So, yeah, I guess, I, I mean, I should have been paying more attention. Sean explained some of this, I think, but. Uh, <laughs> I get looking at the uh, the two inch lift and the stand of the truck and the wheel and tire set up and I, I just pretty much, it's like, <laughs> and I didn't retain any of it. That's pretty killer, man. So if there's a break in the line, does it still direct you? Yeah, it does. It still sways you back. Cool, yeah, that's really cool. I had no idea. I have to get used to that though, I think, because, well, I mean, it's not a bad thing though, right? I mean, because if you're accidentally swaying over, you're gonna feel it start to take you back and you realize what's going on quick, so, I mean, that's pretty wild, man. Hey, we could put this on the old window and get another inside cap shot. The weather's less than ideal outside. We're not gonna be getting good exterior shots today, so it is what it is. Wasn't really planning on a test drive, but just popped in to visit the boys and uh, Sean had sent me a clip of this exhaust a couple days back. So I was kind of hoping it would go this way, and it did. And actually, it fits by here, so we're just gonna go perch out right here. That is wild, actually. Is there any need to ever look out your windows again? I still do it because I'm old school, but it's all right there. Look at this. Like this truck drives itself, man. Is there any need? We're not far off from just saying, hey, Ram, take me too. Ride's pretty good, actually. Ooh, 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 what happened there? I think we actually just broke traction, so I think I'm gonna put the traction control back on. These all-terrain tires, maybe not the best in the rain on asphalt. I'm sure they're great off-road. I'd like to try that out. <laughs> Why don't we go off-roading, Sean? Just want to check out how the lane assist works. <laughs> what happens when I steer it into the trees? I don't think she's going to correct me there. This is cool though. I think the wife would really love that feature. She'd really like that. She's always uh, worrying too much when we're on the road. Obviously a feature like that though, my god, if you are tired behind the wheel, that can save your life. All they need now is for it to get a pulse in the steering wheel when you hit there uh, to help and maybe zap to wake the guy up, right? But drive tired boys don't do it you don't have to cram it you just ease in shift a gear and listen wow did a lot of looking up the Mopar systems online uh, YouTube videos stuff like that fell in love right away I think it actually sounds equally and if not better than most of the aftermarket systems that are out there really I like it I, I find it's just Classy install, boys keeping her whole fire, you know. Cool there, Antic, I like it, I dig it. All right, we get too close to the line there and you're trying to assist me. Yeah, you did. Look at that, that's amazing, that's truly amazing. So technically I can just sit here with my hands off and it really should. Oh, it makes me nervous to do so and it's doing it. Oh my God, oh my God. Really, I mean, that's 
crazy. You wouldn't want to do it because it's going to weave back and forth. And I mean, I'm not recommending you drive hands free. That's not what it's designed for. I'm sure of it. It's just a safety feature, which actually it works well, man. That that. Oof. So I've seen these videos of Tesla and stuff, and when and when they tell people to just let off, I mean, it's quite the feeling to just throw your trust into a, a computer or a vehicle. I mean, oh God, for your life, you know, like, wow, I'm super, super impressed. Kick ass, thanks, Sean, man. I, I had no idea this truck had the feature and I'm glad to have tried it out. It's something that uh, I think everybody needs to experience. Well, so some of the future tech and automotive is uh, definitely for the better, man. Um, I realize that a lot of it is overcomplicating things. Sometimes simplicity is best, but when it comes to safety features, I mean, the Riker's the same deal with that traction control, and then they add the stability control on top of it. It's pretty hard to get yourself into trouble on that machine. They've just thought of everything when it comes to safety aspects, and my hat's off to them. Uh, pretty sound, safe vehicle. Kick-ass. And trucks, ram, features like that. It just, it could save lives, so it's kind of cool. I'm disabling it I'm sure there is probably somewhere in the controls that you can do so um, maybe I'll ask Sean about that I'm not going to jump into it because I'm driving right now and the din on this thing actually the 12 inch and, and with the, the apps and the amount of options that you have to customize your RAM is kind of crazy you can sit there and play with that thing getting to know it for I mean it's up to you really if you want to spend the time I'm sure you can learn it in and out in a few days um, I don't really play with a lot of that stuff I'm more of a just get in and drive and go um, so there are things on my RAM options in there for customization uh, that, that I haven't even touched to be honest with you I haven't even scratched the surface of so braking is always top-notch on these trucks and with these oversized tires and such it doesn't feel any worse Sounds a hell of a lot better. Jesus. So let's jump on the highway and try this cruise. Okay, venturing onto the highway with this big pig. Sexy pig. She got lipstick, all right. That's right. Get out of the lane, boys. ATVs coming through. I dig it. I dig it. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Let's go. Adaptive cruise control. Ready. Set. Okay. Here we go. We're going way too slow truck in front of us. Now, say we actually want to increase our speed and we want to be doing, let's say, 90. But now we're coming up on this truck and you have decelerated on your own now. I can feel it. And it's closing that. It's just keeping that gap right there. So if we want to increase the gap, let's increase that gap. I don't feel safe with that gap. And the truck just dropped off and she's increasing the gap. This is pretty impressive, man. And again, we've got that lane assist, so if we go too far to the line, she brings us back around. Wow, this is super, super duper impressive. So we just touched the gas, she's gonna override everything. This might motivate people to actually use their signal. <laughs> so I wonder if you forget you try to change lanes like we will right now let's try to change lanes about so we can override it yeah all right you can override it but I did feel it try to straighten me and give me the tug and then if we signal we get neural resistance if you throw your signal on so that's pretty kick-ass all right way to go around although I think everybody's doing it nowadays so I see they've got the uh the stock arms in the back here along with some suspension shocks, so there must be a swap out to do the two-inch lift. Oh, sounds good. Roll down the window. Oh, I almost rolled down that window. That would have been a 
huge mistake. Do not do that. should be in this afternoon I gotta go pick it up get the 18 back in order and uh, yeah new demo should be coming in sometime soon too so we'll uh, we'll be able to take a look at some of the newer models of Can-Am check out the new uh, hopefully we get the opportunity to test out the Visco 4 lock very excited about that change boys best of both worlds props to you Can-Am kick ass nice to see you're listening to what the consumer wants, so that, that's awesome, just phenomenal, really. But yeah, we uh, last time we were out, we blew one of our original axles on the 18. Fuck. Well, 2,000 kilometers of hard use on them. We've had zero axles, me or Keith, really, uh, since we had the bikes until this season. Uh, which both the bikes here, you know, over 2,000 kilometers now. Uh, with some serious aggressive tires on them and a lot of abuse so they owe us nothing in the way of axles so the fact that we're finally now replacing our stock axles is no uh no big surprise and it's actually expected probably sooner than later so i'm gonna throw in another i just ordered ordered up from bay marine and uh that's exactly what we're doing so hopefully it'll be in for the weekend uh, i actually just got a message from joe and he drops his bike off at Bay Marine to service the winch or something to stop working on him. So yeah, Joe's like, hey man, you up for a ride this weekend? I think I'll pick up a bike. And I'm like, uh, yeah, if I can get an axle and stab it in there, you know it. It's not looking good. That's my muff. That's my pudding muffler. Includes test drive. I don't really need to rip around all day. Ooh, got an accident. What's going on, boys? I see sirens. So, you know, I preach to my kids all the time because they're at the ages of uh, of driving around with their friends and and uh, going places, parties, and stuff like that. And I can't stress enough how much it's just, you know, don't piss around on the highways. You know, if you want to horse play, well, that's what the four wheelers and off road and and stuff like that's for you want to you know get yourself set whoa whoa that is quite the situation for the old paramedic here eh? like check it out how do you get yourself into that one bud it's one way to perch yourself eh nice i don't know if you're backing out of that it's got her set up though eh this is a shame man out and around it jeez awful man how he slid off like that these kids are out here pissing around right just go out and piss around and zero props for acting like an idiot how in the hell do you end up you spun right the hell out eh 
Chompins, boys. Brutal, man. So I can't stress enough, guys, you know? Like, act responsible. You young lads that uh, you just got your license and you're just, you know, chomping at the bit to get out and play and piss around, well, there's a time and place for everything. And uh, on public roads and in cities, this is not it, you know? If you want to piss around, you need to go out the country, find yourself an open field, private property, and get permission to take a bush car out there and rip her up. If you want to rip up your good car, go ahead. But do it on private property where uh, you're not going to jeopardize somebody else's health and safety. I mean, it's immature, it's disrespectful, and I mean, God forbid, you know, God forbid somebody lost their child last night. And that makes me sick because I've got three young boys and I can relate to the thought of, you know, God forbid anything happens to my kids, you know. And uh, like I said, they're out there with their buddies and vehicles and you get taunted and people pulling up in their little infinities and vroom vroom ridiculous anyways yeah this episode all about safety road safety my boys are pretty respectful and responsible and I'm proud of you boys thank you Sean said they were kicking in all these extra add-ons at no extra cost or at least the uh, the air intake and the exhaust system that's pretty cool See if he needs a hand. Let's just see if our buddy's okay. I see a signal light on, so I think potentially maybe in the vehicle. Ah, watch this. Let's get right on up beside our brother. Check out the renegade boys. What's going on, brother? What's up? Not you just moving stuff around or yeah, what? Is that your due as well? Oh man, they're fun, eh? Hey? Oh, that's epic. You're not broke down. No, I'm not going on a couch or what is the buddy with that? There isn't any distress hey, here. Cool. Right on. Yeah, that's Tim. We've met him out on the trail a few times. He's participated in a few rides, but like I said, we want to make sure uh, he's not stranded out here. We're just driving over gravel mounds. Doesn't even matter. We're not mounds to this truck. Yeah, she actually, even on my highest level of the air ride, this still feels a couple inches higher than that. The ride's really good too, actually. It's not near as rich as I thought, rigid as I thought it would be. Can't believe how many trucks they've moved out of the yard here, boys. He said they've got some shipments coming back in, but wow. We were just here not long ago for that Durango uh, review test, test drive anyways. Loaded with rams. Loaded. I mean, holy crap! It's gonna be 20 or 30 trucks gone. Business is good, I suspect. These guys do know how to treat their customers. So that wouldn't surprise me a bit. We's back on the lot, boys. Should I leave you out back, close to mine? Now nah, we'll walk out back here. Let's take her back up front. We'll let the boys deal with her. They can give her a little rinse. I really enjoyed that, boys. I always enjoy it. I think Sean was talking about having a diesel, a 2500 series that we may be able to take for a rip as well sometime, which I would very much like to do. I can't thank the whole crew here at Thompson's enough for, for uh, you know, sponsoring the channel, supporting everything that we do and uh, being a part of it too, which is, is pretty killer, man. And uh, the opportunities that uh, it's afforded us, you know, by being able to travel trouble free not something I could do on my own. Sponsorship from uh, great people like Thompson's and Bay Marine, man. It's just, I can't thank you guys enough, honestly. And I can't say enough thanks to all you guys for checking out the content, for following along. I mean, without you, we got nothing, right? So it's all thanks to you guys. Um, obviously, a lot of hard work I put in, in in making videos. Damn, that Jeep looks pretty kick-ass, man. I like that. Those rims. Sorry, boys. I don't want to get uh, sidetracked. But check those rims. Those are pretty sweet. For stock rims, man. And he's got the BF Goodrich all terrain on that as well, eh? The only thing better than all terrain is a mud terrain.